there, I'm Elaine. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I create follow along stretching videos for beginners. So make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Today we'll be doing stretches for bloating, gas, and indigestion. You don't need any equipment for this routine, so let's go ahead and get started. To start off, we'll take one big breath, inhaling through our nose and exhaling. We'll move into a few cat and cows, pressing our chest forward and our chin up, and then exhaling, rounding out one vertebrae at a time. Moving with your breath as you inhale, lifting your heart, feeling the arch in your back. On the exhale, moving forward and back, rounding out each part of your spine. Repeating this just one more time, holding onto your knees to guide you through this movement. Next, we'll bring our feet in front of us and slowly roll down onto the mat. Next, we'll reach our arms overhead, again focusing on our breath as we inhale, lifting our chest and exhaling as you press your lower back flat. Repeating this two more times, inhaling, lifting up, and exhaling, flattening out your lower back. Continuing for one more breath. Now, we'll shift our hands down into cactus arms, focusing on our breathing. Inhaling, feeling our chest lift, and exhaling, allowing all the oxygen to release. Next, we'll place our hands to the sides of our body and walk our feet inwards, using our hips to press up into a bridge. Think about keeping both of your hip bones even, making sure that one is not lifted above the other. To deepen the stretch, you can walk your hands together and clasp your hands underneath you, lifting through the chest up towards the hip. On the next breath, slowly lower yourself down, one vertebrae at a time. Now, we'll bring our knees in for one breath. And move into a gentle spinal twist by bringing our knees to one side. If your knees don't reach the ground, just let them hover. Focus instead on trying to press both shoulder blades against the mat. You may close your eyes if you would like and listen to my voice to help guide you through these movements. On the next breath, you have the option to bend your left arm into cactus arms opening up the chest. Continuing to rest in this position. Now we'll bring our left arm down and move our legs back into neutral position as we move on to the other side, twisting our knees over towards the left. 
feeling a gentle rotation on the right sides of our body. You may bring your right arm up into cactus, creating space in the chest. On the next breath, we'll bring both of our knees into a neutral position. And we'll draw one knee towards our chest, giving it a hug. You should feel the stretch deep in your hips. Again, choosing to close your eyes if you would like. Allowing your breath and my voice to guide you through this movement. On each exhale, think about hugging your knee just a little bit closer, always being gentle and listening to our bodies. On the next breath, we'll lower our leg and draw our other knee towards our chest, feeling the stretch in our hips. Being mindful here, noticing if one hip feels more tight than the other and that's completely normal. We'll just want to hold the tighter side a little bit longer to even it out. On each exhale, gently hugging our knee inwards. Now we'll begin to release our knee. We'll bring our right knee inwards and grab a hold of the outside of our right foot, feeling a stretch in our inner hips, allowing our left knee to fall outwards if this feels comfortable for you. We'll just be resting in this position, holding and breathing. On the next breath, we'll extend our right leg into a single-legged happy baby pose, stacking our ankle over our knee as we gently press down against our foot. We'll bend our leg once more, holding the same stretch as we did previously. Repeating the stretch on the other side, We'll grab a hold of our outer left foot, keeping our leg bent as we open our right knee towards the side.
On the next breath, we'll extend our left leg into a happy baby pose, always taking a moment to check if your joints are aligned. Now, we'll bend our left leg, holding the previous stretch, taking a moment to notice if your hips are feeling any different the second time. Now, we'll bring our legs onto the mat drawing our right knee towards our chest as we extend our left leg, moving into a twist towards the left side.
gentle and understanding towards our bodies. On the next breath, we'll lower our feet, grabbing a hold of our ankles and allowing your knees to fall to either side. Breathing slowly into this pose, finding some comfort here as we take this time to stretch our bodies. Now we'll begin to rotate our ankles in one direction, bringing movement into our feet. Now rotating in the other direction. Bloating can feel very uncomfortable, but it helps to take this time and allow our bodies to heal. You may play around with this pose by closing your toes in a clenched position and then spreading each of your toes out. Next, we'll lower our feet onto the mat, bringing our feet together as our knees fall towards the side. We'll continue to rest in this pose with our eyes closed, doing a few variations with our arms. For one variation, you may extend your arms up into cactus arms, feeling an opening in your chest and in your hips. Another variation may be to extend your arms overhead, feeling the stretch move towards your shoulders, resting in whatever position you have chosen. Now, we'll bring our knees together, knees pointing towards the ceiling. Breathe. Bring our arms to the sides of our body. You may extend your legs and very gradually make yourself up into a seated position. And we're done the stretching routine. If you'd like to continue stretching, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Give me a like and let me know in the comments if you experience bloating. Stretch again soon, bye.